Hello and welcome to my channel. I have just received a new eyeshadow palette from MAC Cosmetic. I have placed an order uh, to MAC Cosmetic uh, Nordics and this uh, uh, is the new eyeshadow. Um, it is called Connecting Color, High Five Color and I pick up the brightest one. Uh, I never own any MAC eyeshadow before. I didn't think that for the money that I pay, the quality was there. So I never was attracted to buy any eyeshadow, but this, I know these are uh, reformulated and I saw some reviews on social media that um, these are really good, the pigment is there. I already uh, make a video with the swatches, so they swatch really, really nice. And I also like the packaging, it is like, summer uh, time packaging really really nice all colorful it is uh, also very fit for traveling you can see on my hand i mean i don't have very uh, i have very small hands so you can see how this uh, how big this is and uh, i love colors so uh, this was the i don't know the perfect palette for me that i wanted to try also travel size uh, friendly so uh, I was very excited to pick this up. Uh, they have three, two more. I mean, there are three in total. Uh, one neutral one, it's a more warmer tone. And this one, which is the colorful one, which is the, I know, for me, it's the one that I uh, really, really wanted. So I have already prepped my eyes with my uh, Too Faced primer. Uh, shadow insurance that I always use and I will be picking up this green so I will take the green eyeshadow and I will apply it and I do not have any of this uh, like white base or like a um, white base then the, this color will pop up so it is just a regular uh, primer that i use and i want to build this color up it looked really really nice when um, i swatch it but it kind of seems that uh, on the eyes you have to build it up a little bit so I'm just doing like a V-shape, let's say. Maybe I'm a little bit disappointed because this watch really, really nice on my hand. At least this color and I really had, uh, I don't know, an expectation about it. This is the result. I mean, you can build it up. It's just um, an extra step, let's say. So if you are in a hurry, yeah, you have to work with these colors. Okay, I apply the green, let's apply the yellow. Now let's see if, yeah, I think the yellow one has more pigment. I just want to try like the bold colors in here. And for now I have only the mattes tried but for a matte bold color i think they i don't know they are not sheer but they are not like extremely pigmented uh, if you don't apply a base on your eyes before and for sure you can boil the color up I think these colors will pair really really well with um, the Natasha Denona mini pastel because uh, you have these mattes, really bright colors and then uh, you can apply uh, those shimmers will just pop up you already have the base so I think uh, maybe I'll make in another video because now I wanted to take to test only this one 
So I have no idea how this makeup will look, but I want to use this blue. Uh, I will just apply the blue in my outer corner. And with the green and the yellow, we'll just give some green vibes, actually. And it is a really fun palette, eyeshadow palette, if you ask me. And I will apply the same blue a little bit under. And here it will actually look blue, not green. And now I want to apply a little bit of this purpley shade. Just a little bit in the corner here, close to the um, eyelash, let's say. So I applied a little bit of this purple here, just on the middle. And I will be applying same in the other eye. This is in direct sun and this is how it looks so far. It is a summer makeup, a colorful makeup, which I kind of love. I love how this purple shade uh, fit here all uh, above the yellow with mixed with the green. I mean the blue that was mixed with the green and everything. They mix just well and um, I think I will extend the yellow uh, color all up to my out of corner and the um, purple shade had a little bit of fallout so here also with the same brush, I will be taking this. This is the Shimmer Pink. With the same brush that I picked the yellow one. And I will be adding it uh, here. I'm loving the, the final look. It looks really, really nice. So until now, I love how this look turned out. It is a colorful look uh, and it looks really, really nice. And I have one more shade that I want to use it. Is this white? It is like a frost white. I don't know, like pearly. And I want to add this to my inner corner just to see how it looks. Uh, on top on the of the yellow color it's not shiny I was expecting to be shiny at least when I swatch it it was um, it had a little bit of shine and you can see the difference this eye over this eye I hope and also you have to boil this up a little bit just to get that white uh, reflection yes if you boil this up this is the brush that i uh, receive as a gift with this purchase i'm really happy with this one i didn't have this kind of small brush that i can apply uh, my eyeshadow to my inner corner so i like how this white base white eyeshadow looks on the eyes and i think this is like the final look for me it is colorful i think uh, using a white base under will pop this color more um, it was like they had more pigment when i swatched it on my hand than on my eyes uh, some of the matte, the green, the yellow, I have to build it up in order to get 
then in order to get this green it's like adding the blue on top but overall i like how it looks so i have done my face um, for blush i use also the one from mac cosmetic it is the glow play blush in so natural this is a perfect everyday blush and i love the formula of these blushes um, i use the powder from the Givenchy foundation dior face and body and uh, for brows i just set them a little bit with this uh, gimme brown uh, and uh, i also contour a little bit with this milk makeup baked matte bronzer uh, this is how it called it is called and now i want to use the lip gloss the plumping lip gloss that they uh, gave me as a gift uh, with the purchase so it is a nude an everyday nude uh, color the applicator is really interesting uh, and let's see how it looks on the so it does give that vibe i think 2000 by vibes when uh, it was that uh, trend with all nude lips i like it i think uh, i can wear this uh, paired with uh, a lip liner maybe but it does work also as it is but it is a little bit too pale for me in my opinion and it feels um, i did uh, put it on my lips after i receive it and it does have that uh, tingling cooling effect it does not plump my lips i mean it they look bigger just because it's a lip gloss uh, but nothing special like out of uh, this world for and now regarding this uh, eyeshadow palette uh, it was more pigmented uh, when I swatched it I mean it swatched really really well on my hand uh, however on the eyes you have to build uh, the color uh, up especially this yellow the green that i use uh, this purple it's not that uh, pigmented as i wish to be and um, the white it also doesn't give that luminosity or the wow effect when you apply in the inner corner um, so uh, yeah this is uh, I don't know. I expected something. I expected something else about this palette after I saw some reviews online. Uh, that's why I wanted to try. Uh, it is not a bad palette. It's just, in my opinion, somewhere in the middle. Let's say you have to uh, boil the colors up. Maybe with a white base, it will pop up the colors better on the eyes um there are still more colors that i didn't use today maybe i will make uh, some looks play with it and i will make another video to see how all these colors perform uh, but yes for today what i have tried it's a 50 50 for me it's not a bad palette it is good uh, sometimes it's good that you have to build the colors up so you don't put too much color for the first time um it is good because i like it i like the packaging <laughs> i like because it's traveling uh, travel friendly um i don't know uh, i don't have this uh, colorful palette uh, so many in my collection and i think the bright colors will pair really really good with uh, natasha denona uh, pastel palette the mini one and the midi one and i also uh, love uh, the eye makeup that I realized today it is a colorful one however it's not one in the face it's not too bright it is perfect maybe this is the palette this is what's supposed to to do uh, I don't know I love I love the finish the the finish uh, eye makeup look I really really love it was fun to create this look and uh, you can create I don't know uh, infinite 
uh, makeup looks with this this black on the hand swatch it swatch really really nice um, but uh, yeah for today look i will just leave it like this so this was my video about this palette uh, tell me in the comments if you uh, bought any of these palettes the bigger size or the six pen size uh, what is your opinion uh, what did you expect about this uh, eyeshadow like the quality if you like it if you like the colors how they apply on the eyes and thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye